Hi. Great to see you. Um, last time I spoke, I brought out my three-legged stool and I spoke about the three legs, about the greatest things, about faith and hope and love. Faith is what we stand on. Hope is what we look forward to. And love, love is what we live by. Today is Maundy Thursday. It's the day when we remember that Jesus did the job of the most menial servant and washed the dirty feet of his disciples. They were beginning their last meal together on the night before he was put to death. And it's all about love. If you're not familiar with the story, you'll find it in John chapter 13. One translation puts it like this. It says, it was just before the Passover festival. Jesus knew that the hour had come for him to leave this world and go to the Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, he showed them the full extent of his love. What Jesus did is, is like an enacted parable, a symbolic picture explaining what he'd come to do and uh, expanding our understanding of what he was to do on the following day when he gave his life on the cross. That was truly the full extent of his love. He said his hour had come. It was time to do the primary thing that he'd come to do, which was to give up his life for the whole of humankind. Yes, for his friends, for those who would become his friends, and also for those who would reject him. That's the greatest thing anyone can do. John tells us that he took off his outer clothing and he wrapped a towel around his waist. And that wasn't just about getting appropriately dressed for the job, but it was about making himself vulnerable and taking on the role of the lowliest household slave. The alleyways the disciples had walked through to the upper room weren't like our neat tarmac streets. Uh, they'd have been more like running sewers or rubbish tips and sandals wouldn't have been much protection. And at the end of the story, Jesus says, I've set you an example that you should do as I have done for you. You should wash one another's feet. Well, that's kind of obvious, isn't it? Uh, Jesus is all about being kind to our, one another, isn't he? Well, he is, but that doesn't really get us to the heart of what this is about. That might be the outcome of what happened, but it's not the significant thing. It might be the after eight mint, but it's not the main course. The instruction to love one another only comes after Jesus has got up close and personal to each one of them, one at a time. Only after he had got down and washed their feet clean. It was only after they'd been on the receiving end of God's love and after he'd taken away everything from them that might make them unacceptable that they were called to love. And it's the same for us. Jesus doesn't wash away dirt from our feet, but he longs to wash away guilt and shame and insecurity and self-sufficiency and all the things that keep us from getting close to him. Yep, the third leg of the stool is about love, love to live by. But it starts with God's love for us. It's centered in God's love in Jesus on the cross and then it invites us to love him in return and then it fuels our love for one another as John wrote much later we love because he first loved us what me yes you <laughs>